We're here to congratulate Chris Williams today. He's achieved world-class technician status uh, with General Motors Training Center. Um, a uh, accomplishment that takes years to achieve. So we've got several folks here from, uh, from Chevrolet and General Motors. We've got uh, Richard LaCosta, um, John Bartnick, Dwellin Howard, and Dave Umberg. So why don't you guys go ahead and present the talk. Thank you. First of all, I want to say thanks to all of you. Uh, you know, it's uh, we have service training standards, as you as you know what that means. Uh, that we require every dealer to make sure they meet and make sure their technicians are properly trained. Uh, usually, uh, we uh, a dealer is at 100 percent, and we say, "Hey, that's okay." But there is a commitment at National Chevrolet because you are way above that. And if I recall correctly, I think they're at 275 percent. And for that, we thank all of you. Thank you. Yeah. More importantly, what we're here is to recognize the unsung heroes, and that's all of you. Because if you think about it, you can have a nice brand like Chevrolet, you can have a nice dealer like Nash Chevrolet, you can have nice salespeople and everything else, but you know what? The customers are gonna walk out of here happy, and they're gonna come back and buy another vehicle, and come back and buy another set of tires, because the technicians did a good job because the technicians fixed it right the first time. And it's you guys that really get it done. And for that, you know, from all of us at Chevrolet and General Motors, we thank you. It takes more than that, though. There is also a world-class technician. To become a world-class technician is even more hard, eh, or harder, I should say. Uh, we have about 30,000 technicians nationally. Only 6% achieve world-class world technician. So, you know, that's about 2,000 technicians nationally. And certainly Chris gets that honor and he's one of them. And for that, we want to thank you. So Chris, we appreciate very much. Thank, thank you very much. John? Uh, I'm John Bartnick, the regional training manager. And I, I also just want to say a couple of words. I, I spend a lot of time uh, at the regional training uh, center in Alpharetta. I see these folks come in, do, do the assessments. And, and they're, they're not easy. Not everybody passes them. Uh, some of them actually break out in sweats. Chris, I don't know how long it's taking you, but I, I know you have to be persistent in order to do it. Uh, on a regional level, we've got probably about 5,200 service technicians, and uh, only less than 300 have become world class. So we're here. Chris is a, of an exclusive uh, uh, group. We're about 5%, a little over 5% of the Southeast Regional Technicians. And with that, I congratulate Chris. Thank, th you. thank you for what you do. With that, we have certainly a nice little statue uh, provided by General Motors. With Chris's name on it, world class. And we also, from the Southeast Region, we have a uh, just in time for the for the winter time, a nice uh, baseball style world class jacket. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. A couple, a couple other items: a nice gold bow tie, a patch for your uniform, and a congratulatory letter from Mike Durkin. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate it. Thank you. Speech. <laughs> speech. Speech. They said it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not even turn around. I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words this time. I don't know. It means a lot to me. I'm doing, trying to do this for 17 years. So finally got it. A lot of work. A lot of time put forth to work. Thank all y'all. Right, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Nice job.